Our ice queen, Jing Liu, she's back on the banner, and you probably pulled for her because you didn't want stinky adventurine. And yes, I'm gonna call him adventurine just to piss the people off that want me to use the correct naming nomenclature format, okay? But today we're talking about our ice queen because you might have skipped adventurine and now you want Miss Jing Liu, the ice queen, the best ice DPS in the game. And as we know right now, we're not getting any ice DPS for the foreseeable future, anyways. So. This might be a great time for you to pick up Jingle Yu, and if you want to know how to build her, what is the best build for Jingle Yu? Because she's out today, if I'm releasing this in the correct time period. So we're gonna talk about a kit breakdown first, all the teams she works with, relics, light cones, everything like that, how you should be running her. A little, a little breakdown about her, right? Okay, so let's start off with the number one thing, her kit, how does it work? Because this sets the baseline for literally everything we're gonna be doing with her. So let's talk about her skill first. Her skill targets one main enemy, doesn't really do anything, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it does give you one stack of transcendence yes transcendence plays a very big role we'll talk about that when we get to the talent her ultimate move will be targeting one main enemy and hitting two adjacent enemies and you'll also be getting one stack of syzygy with this as well but everything i mean everything plays into the talent which is the most important part of her kit this is what makes her so cracked so op whenever you get two stacks of syzygy she goes bonkai that was really cringe. I'm super sorry for that. But she enhances to a new state her Bankai form, like my boy Toshiro from Bleach, okay? She pops the absolute off in the state, and uh, she is, as Nikkei 30 would say, amazing because. In this state, she gives herself crit rate, first of all, and that's a super hard stat for a lot of beginners to get anyways. They really don't need to build much into crit rate, so that's a free stat it gives. It also is going to give a massive attack bonus as well, but it does come with one caveat, which takes away HP from the rest of the team whenever you use a skill. But it does enhance the skill attack to not use any skill points, first of all, really big plus there. And on top of that, it'll be targeting three enemies, or I guess one man enemy, two adjacent enemies, instead of just one enemy now, so it becomes an AoE attack, and you're doing massive, massive damage for this. As far as how I'll be leveling this stuff up, definitely focus on the skill, definitely focus on the talent first. These are the top two things you're going to be getting most of your DPS out from. The ultimate is also a really high priority as well, just not as important as both of those, but it is still really important, right? Like if we were to put it on a scale here, the talent and skill are like a 10, where the ult's like a 9, right? And the basic attack's like a 3, so there you go. Fun little math for you. Also, I should mention her technique is also really strong as well, because you can enter battle with a little ring, it freezes the enemy and gives you one stack of Syzygy. That means the first skill you use will enter your transcendent state. Super, super good there, and it starts the enemies out frozen as well, which is an absolutely broken debuff. And these three little bonus abilities here will also come in clutch as well. One gives you effect resistance when in enhanced state, one gives you extra ultimate damage, and one makes you advance forward action. So these here are just really good for her kit all around. Level all these up, and not to mention the nodes you get. You get speed, crit damage, what more can you really ask for? Absolutely amazing little kit and traces you can actually unlock here. Super, super good. A-OK -okay in my book, but now we're done talking about that. What are we going to talk about now, you two? The light cones. The light cones are the second most important thing other than leveling up a character, right? Because this, first of all, gives you more base stats, and then gives you another passive, basically, for your character, or free stats in general, right? Her best in slot light cone is going to be her signature light cone, guys. Because what are signature light cones gonna be doing is first of all giving a flat crit damage bonus off the rip whenever an ally takes damage then she gets another stack as well which she reduces all of them so you immediately get the three stacks here completely for free which increases the amount of damage she can do and finally she'll be ignoring the enemy defense this is a super good light cone specifically for jingle you super good options if you want to pull for a light cone this is a great option for her obviously but there are free to play options and me personally i don't use this option on my jingle you i use the free to play herda shop light cone why because it gives me free attack on top of that is giving me free damage bonus for whenever i break the enemy shield as well really good all around light cone here i absolutely love this light cone now some will say secret vow secret vow is okay she doesn't really take her own health away i would rather put that on like a blade or someone that reduces their own hp so that's why i don't use secret vow on her though it does give you a upfront damage bonus which could definitely be used here as well so that's a decent option for you to run although it's not free to play and then as well clars light cone can work here if you kill an enemy or get hit you get extra damage out you get some heal it's a pretty decent light cone as far as free to play options like i said a secret vow the best in slot four that's what i would definitely recommend running on your jing liu now with these light cones out of the way let's talk about the part you've probably been waiting for the most relics what are the best relics for jing liu and i'll start off with pause 
stop right there jingle you enjoyers you if you're enjoying this video so far then uh, drop a subscribe on the channel it would really help us out i can't speak correctly and neither can i don't know what i'm saying subscribe back to the video the, my favorite relic set for jingle you is going to be the four piece ice set the reason i say this is because she uses her ultimate a lot right which increases her crit damage which she needs a lot of because she already gives herself 50 percent crit rate within her kit already so that to me just makes it seem like this is like kind of built for her use ultimate you get a crit damage buff it's she's just gonna be doing absolutely insane damage because she's already getting the ice damage bonus on top of that now people will make the meta argument oh just run the quantum set the problem with quantum set is it depends on the team you're running right so if you're facing a quantum enemy you get 20 percent defense shred if you're not facing any quantum enemy you get 10 percent defense shred this also compounds with if you're running pale on the team if you're running an e1 ruan man the team if you're running this on a team with a, an hildy character that gives the pearls a sweat like Cone. the thing is right if you look at the graph for defense down it kind of goes like this so it's like an exponential curve going up it's not that good at the lower levels but it gets higher and higher the more and more you get right so it's not like a straight curve like this it's like a a swooping curve so if you're not running much defense shred then this is overall not going to give you as much damage as something like the four piece set was but if you're running like a full defense shred team then for sure the quantum set is going to bring your stonks all the way up now other options you can run because the ice set is not the best set to farm right if you're not farming for the wind set either then who else are you really farming this set for am i right it's not the best set at all okay so if you didn't want to run this you could maybe get a two-piece ice set and then go for other things i mean you could run musketeer here because you get free musketeer just by playing the game and doing your weekly bosses or you could run two piece dot set as well because it gives the same effect as it so these two things are things you could definitely run here also if you're running on a debuff oriented team then you could run the two piece of the new pioneer set because it does give you extra damage to debuffed enemies which could help her out extra damage bonus would be super super nice for her, and i think you would really like that now let's hop into those planner sets now they're pretty easy pretty sweet pretty simple i think runeland arenas is the best here which helps your crit rate that you need a lot because we'll talk about the crit rate you need in a second here and all the requirements Required stats you need but this will help out a lot here on top of that it will be increasing her skill and basic attack damage as well basic attack damage out the window most of her damage though does come from her skill move so you're getting an absolutely huge boost to this and reaching that 70 percent threshold you need to reach to actually get the damage bonus not hard at all another alternative set though if you have a lot of speed on her you could run glamoth here and potentially potentially get more damage out because it will be increasing all types of her damage which could be more beneficial to you using a lot of speed on her maybe run over the ruan may that would definitely help okay and obviously, if you don't have either of these sets, you're a new player coming to the game, then Space Ceiling Station could also work here. Don't really recommend it in the long run. It could be easier early game to get, but later game, definitely aim for Runeland Arena and also Glamoth, depending on the speed you have with her and the teams you're running her on, right? Because she's very dependent on the team you're running her on of how you want to actually run her, okay? Let's hop into these stats now. Main and subsets, starting off with the main stats first. On the boots, I recommend Speed Boots, unless you're running over like a Ruan May or a Sparkle or a Branya, then you could swap these out for Attack Percent Boots and just go absolutely balls to the walls get as much damage as humanly possible with her right for the body run crit damage you don't need any crit rate for her kit and let me tell you why the minimum crit rate she needs to actually reach this 70 percent threshold is only 12 you get eight from runolent you, you just get 12 from substats you literally have the amount you need to get the damage bonus that's kind of low right because you're only at 70 me personally i would recommend a minimum of at least 30 percent so that way you're at at least like 80 percent this is still not hard to obtain because this is about 22 percent in substats of crit rate which arguably it's not that hard to do you just need at least like one crit rate roll on every piece and you should be there so not too hard at the end of the day to get that right now my math could be off you maybe need like one extra roll on like one or two or the pieces right i'm not doing the math on this but very easy you don't need any crit rate run crit damage for the body so hopping into that orb now orb ice damage she's a dps give her ice damage orb ice damage percentage really easy clap there for the rope i prefer attack percentage because i'm not a sweaty gamer and then maybe you can make the argument if you're not running her like a hua hua or you're not running her with like a team yoon then err rope would be more beneficial here so you can get her ult up faster for me i run her with hua hua so this doesn't really matter to me too much i usually hostage hua hua's ult until i get close to the ultimate or i'm about to lose my state boom pop it bam easy clap there or i don't really hostage it but you know what i mean right i use it i get more energy right it gives me the energy i would have gotten with the err our rope so with that out of the way these little main stats out of the way what are we going to be doing for subs well first and foremost you want to be focusing on getting at least 12 percent crit rate guys at least 12 percent 
I recommend getting 22% to 30%. That's going to be the best, in my opinion. You only want a max of 50%, though, because if you go past the 50% crit rate in your kit, then you will be over the threshold of 100% crit rate. So, that I'm on building. Number two here, speed. You want to be a speedy little demon. You want to be going multiple times per cycle. Number three, crit damage. Bing, bing, bing. Crit damage is super important here. You want to be getting as much crit damage as possible. And finally, attack percentage. She already gets some attack percentage in her kit, so you can get some more attack percentage here. Really not the end of the world if you don't get any. Crit rate, crit damage, speed, really the only things you need for Miss Jingle Yu and her kit. Not even much crit rate at that. Realistically, all you're really aiming for is crit damage and speed, okay? But now let's talk about the rest of the team, right? Because her kit does revolve around elements in the rest of the team right how much hp does the rest of your team have you need a combined hp for the other three characters in your team of 9556 hp if you reach this threshold then you're good to go right all you really say you're running a blade in the team like 10k hp you're there right this is a minimum of 3.2k hp for the other three characters on your team obviously if one gets higher then it requires less of another one so just keep that in mind when building 9.5k it'll be here on screen so you know how much you actually need to build here it'll also be with all the desired stats you're gonna be wanting with your Miss Jingle Yu. Now, with this out of the way, with all the stats out of the way, with all the, the, the mathematics out of the way, let's talk about what her best teams are because she actually has a pretty flushed out amount of characters you can run her on. You can run her on a hyper carry team with like a Branya, a Pela, whatever you want, right? This her solo DPS. You can run her on a dual DPS with someone like a Blade, right? You don't even have to run with a Blade. You can run her with someone else. You, there are so many different options you can run here. Obviously, her best options here are gonna be someone like a Branya, right? Bring her back to the front, give her a damage bonus, let her go to town, do the work right sparkle here could work it's okay you can use her get more crit damage out this way you get a free damage bonus as well sparkle can work on team here blade holy blade and her like a match made in heaven on my team i use hua hua blade jingle you and just another character i think ruan may and paler are also very good options here because you can run the pinnacle and set which gives you five percent energy region and also an extra ten percent damage to her or an extra damage percent bonus to her as well on top of that if you have e1 ruan may you get defense right there so if you're running more quantum set then bang easy clap there and then obviously Pela as well gives huge defense shred being ice type can boost her up even more as well fire mc can do the job loju can do the job adventuring can do the job obviously you don't want to be running adventuring with mr blade but you get what i mean right any sustain can work here realistically any buffer here can work she can be running dual dps comp so she fits into a lot of teams because let's be honest guys she's cleaving through everything you put at her send at her her way in the game right maybe not as efficient as acheron but guys that's gonna do it for our little build guide today if you enjoyed what you saw please leave a like on the video subscribe if you haven't already too so yeah bye guys see you